Hello viewers and praise the Lord. Uh, it's another wonderful opportunity that I uh, come to us with the word of the Lord. I am Pastor Moses Brown, the lead minister at Global Bible Church, uh, like Isama. And uh, I will be coming to you weekly with uh, a word of encouragement. And uh, as you will continue listening to this word of encouragement from the Lord, feel free to interact with us through our me social media platforms. Uh, you can comment, you can like, you can also suggest uh, other titles or topics that you would want me to speak on. And uh, I believe as um, we keep doing this, the Lord will bless us together. Today, I want to talk on a, a subject I have entitled the axe head. And the main idea that I want us to understand or to bring forth here is what I call lost ability. And uh, we are going to read from the book of 2 Kings chapter number 6 and we will only read two verses. That is verse 4 and verse 5 where the Bible says, <clears throat> So he went with them. When they arrived at the Jordan, they began cutting down trees. But as one of them was cutting a tree, his axe head fell into the river. Other version says his axe head fell into the water. Oh, sir, he cried. It was a borrowed axe. Now, talking about lost ability. We see these people that they all went to the place of work and they were all working. In the process of doing the work they had gone to do, the Bible says that one of them, his axe head fell into the river, which means that his ability to work or to perform was interfered with. He could no longer continue cutting trees while others were doing so. Perhaps because of this, he developed anxiety of people getting ahead of him because of what may have befallen him. And I come to us today with the word of the Lord to remind us that we are living at a time whereby things do happen to people unexpectedly. And when something happens to you unexpectedly, it either delays you or derails you in a way or the other. This man, as he was working, the Bible says that his axe head fell. In other words, the axe he was using to, ask, to, 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 to cut the tree disconnected. And what he remained with in his hand was something that could not really help him to achieve his goal. The real thing, the cutting edge had been lost. I come to you talking to somebody today who may have lost his ability, his or her ability to do something. And as a, a result, you have felt like you have been left behind while other people are making progress in life, while other people are making step forward. You feel like you are left behind. When this man lost his, the head of his axe, the Bible says that he cried out. Perhaps the reason of his cry was because of the shame he was anticipating. The shame that he was going to find himself into. Because there's a project that they had started working on together. Now, before they could finish the project, 
something happened that he could no longer continue with that particular project. I don't know what you may have started doing with the hopes to improve your life, with the hopes to make your life productive, with the hopes to take your family to the next level, to do something that will make you also look as somebody who is respected in the society, something that has now turned to be a reason for your cry. Because you don't know what to do next. The cry of this person was because the axe that he was using was a borrowed one. And so he did not know what to tell the owner of the axe. <clears throat> when you read verse number six, which I think for the purposes of bringing this point home is important. When he cried out to the man of God, who was Elisha, the team leader, that it was a borrowed axe, the man of God asked him, where did it fell? I want to tell somebody that it does not matter what you may have lost in life, in the past, there is hope for restoration. Whatever you may have lost, whatever ability you used to have, whatever skills, there are some people who maybe when you were growing, something happened and you had to drop out of school. Maybe you were involved in a road accident and you, become, you became incapacitated. You are no longer able to do things as you used to do. You've now become someone who has to depend on other people to do certain things. And every time you think about this, it does not make you to feel good about yourself. I want to tell you that there is hope. The Bible says that this man cried out, and he said it was a borrowed axe. I think this, all that this man wanted was this shame to get out. He wanted the man of God to do something that would get him out of the shame. And so when the man of God asked him where it fell, he said, he went ahead and showed the man of God the place where it fell. I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ that whatever it is that is your heart's desire, whatever it is that you would want to be restored in your life, God is able to restore it. We serve a God of a second opportunity. He can give you another opportunity. He can spare you the shame. He can spare you the pain. He can spare Hear you the embarrassment. Just show him. And you cannot show him if you don't trust him. This man trusted the man of God. He knew that Elisha the prophet was a representative of God. And that he had the ability to do something about his situation. I want to tell somebody who is listening that God has the ability. He has the power to restore that which is lost. Just show him with trust. Just show him by faith. Just show him he is well able to do it. When you do so, the God that we serve will be able to restore you and to restore to you everything that is lost. Don't be afraid to show him. Just show him he will restore it. May the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord do you good. Until we meet again, amen. With love and strength for each new day.